For this video, I will be discussing a deluxe dial intercom. This intercom uses the same rotary dial card and touch tone decoder that you would find in a 641 panel, as well as other systems. This also has a three link adapter card and a selector extender which allows it to have additional uh, stations. Normally your 641s are 19 station or if you have a really old card, a 10 station intercom card. This one has the ability to be up to 37 as it is configured. The panel is the same size as a 620 panel and the intercom panel is referred to as a 626 panel. The design of this panel uh, was there was no provisions for a lamp ground to the bulb in the phone. The bell practice recommended using the ring common ground. If you did that, you would lose that punching uh, when you ran your buzzer lead and you would just have to find a ground elsewhere. So what I done is I created a bunch block and I have fed tip ring and lamp from link one, link two, and link number three down to a bunch block. At the bunch block, I have it set up a tip ring, lamp ground, lamp for all three links. Due to the design of the 626 panel, not having any provision for lamp ground terminations, I have run a three conductor lead from the 626 panel down to a 66 M125 block. The M125 block is now wired as what is referred to as a bunch block. So on the left side of the block, I have four sets of rows, such as tip ring, lamp ground, lamp, for link one, then the next group would be link two, and then the third group would be link three. On the right hand side of the block is where I have my cross connects. It's connected to the pickup buttons on the key telephones that the three link system is connected to. Here is a close up of the bunch block. I still have some open spaces I can run cross connects to so I can add additional telephones. Here is the 626 that has the jumpers going to the bunch block or the cross connects going to the phones for the buzzer leads. This is the right end of the key system wall where I have a few cross connects. The further I go to the left, the more cross connects that there are because there's more cables. Here is the middle of the cross connect run and as you can tell that it's becoming very, very full of jumper wires. This is the highest density part of the mainframe when it comes to all of the cross connect wires. The three link intercom is wired to a bunch of 831 slash 2831 key sets. The three links are wired on the 18th, 19th and 20th button of the key set. Generally on 1A2 systems the very last button was the intercom. In this case the last three buttons. I've only seen the three link intercoms ever in use in the COM key series telephone systems. And I do have a 718 COM key that has the two link card the three link card that I have is acting flaky. This system was incredibly difficult to make work. The 626 panel that I started with was damaged and has a flexible back plane uh, printed circuit board and the plastics had dried out and the connectors started to not stay where they needed to so when you plugged in a card you may not be completely seated into that socket as well as issue traces and so forth on the flexible printed circuit board. 
Then I had some defective intercom cards that I had to work through in addition to certain cards needed to have a certain revision uh, or be a certain number such as 424A, B, and C. I had to have the later generations or anything other than an A series card and that was a difficulty because mostly what I had was A series cards. The multi-link card was either damaged because of trying to make it work in a damaged panel, not knowing that the panel was badly damaged on the back plane, <clears throat> so it is not operating correctly, and I am in the market for a new three-link card. Links one and three work fine, link two is flaky, so I will make a call on link number three, which will be the very last button, and I have a touch tone set with a 4A speaker phone, so I'll go off hook and you will be able to hear dial tone from the intercom. And then when somebody else picks up on the flashing link, the person you called or another phone, the lamp goes steady and now the intercom is available, the dial intercom is available for the other two links. Of course, when you hang up, then the light will go out. So I'll go to link number one, and I dialed a different station number, and I will answer it in a moment. And that's the same thing, uh, the light goes steady. As you can tell, link number two is being flaky at this point, and that is not supposed to be doing that, but the card has got trouble in it, and I do not have a replacement card at this time. The three-link intercom I have can go up to 37 stations, and I have installed 1A2 systems that had um, 30 and 60 phones and larger. I've only put in a handful of intercoms that were 37 station intercoms. Generally, when you got into the systems this size, they would be on a Centrex and may not have an intercom. In my little museum here, I just decided to hook up the 20 button phones so you could see all of them working. Uh, down the row. I have a test set connected to the link number one of the panel and I have link number one ceased and you can see that the light on the most left is lit and that is the actual dial intercom and then the two lights below it that's flashing is link number one. Here is the three link card that has difficulties. Here is some bonus video of the green goo that leaks out of the 400 D series line cards. This stuff has really come out this summer due to the heat. Even though the building does not get super warm, the only thing I've found to remove this is using acetone and that turns it into like a gum type paste which then you can if you work at it get it off of the cable or the floor 